Hey Simonix, what's up? This is Simon from the Ionic Academy, back with a new quick win on a topic that is kind of challenging. So today we want to implement a side menu with Ionic, which isn't that complicated, but we want to have an additional navigation in the menu component and we will use the ionnav for this which is um, not deprecated but the usage isn't really documented very well but we will get this done so i've started by now a blank new ionic application and for this we're gonna need three additional pages so we need the menu page which is basically uh, the markup for the general ionic menu the menu list which will be displayed in the menu so we will have an additional page in the menu page and then the content will just be the main area uh, that we display that also means we can get rid of the home folder and we can directly continue with the app routing because right now this is of course not correct uh, we don't want all of these pages we just want to start directly with a menu page that holds the uh, menu template for the whole application so what we're going to do is we have to change the path to uh, slash pages slash menu slash menu module and then use the menu page module which is the new um, angular 8 syntax for importing these pages all right as i said we will also use uh, additional navigation that loads different components and for this it is mandatory to make our menu list that we will integrate available to the rest of the application and we can do so by changing the imports in the app module to also include the menu list page module make sure the import is right and add it to the array of imports that's basically the same like when you're using components then you also got the or i have to add them to the uh, app module or if you're using a modal stuff like this so now let's continue with the menu markup so in general the menu will look like this um, we can surround it if we want to with a split pane so it looks also better on a bigger screen and then uh, we have the ion menu and the router outlet this is for ionic 5 because at the time of writing this the ionic 5 beta is out which has some changes for the menu if you are still on ionic 4 i also got you covered so for ionic 4 the syntax would look like this we would have the main uh, directive here on the router outlet but it changed to version 5 to be an ID right here and connected with a content ID at the ion split pane. So hopefully they don't change the name anymore, <clears throat> but that's the general idea. So um, because actually the current version of the package right here is 4.7, we will follow the Ionic 4 syntax, but you see the Ionic 5 syntax is up here actually this is also not mandatory so what this does is um, inside the ionic menu we usually have an ion content or perhaps even a header and then a list of buttons so that's the uh, general tutorial about ionic menus the problem is that we then can't route inside that menu and therefore we will use the ion nav component which is um, documented not that well um, so we got this we also see enough pop push and set root really there isn't a lot of documentation it is a bit outdated as well um, so we will also see the differences to ionic 5 in a second um, but this is basically used as a standalone component for loading components and pushing new components this should be used especially in cases like sub navigation for example also in a modal if you have a modal and want to open another page you can use the ion nav so that's really a cool way to use this component and we include it here in the menu which basically says that in the menu we will render some kind of content that has an additional navigation controller and it follows a bit of the syntax like ionic 3 uh, where we connected it to pages um, it wasn't working for me using just some names so this way was working for me so specify a root page for the navigation and then within the menu page you define the root page um, to be the menu list page okay 
That is very important. I will also now bring up Ionic Surf already in the background. So basically, we are initializing this navigation component in our menu with the menu list page. Um, the menu list page is on the next page. For now, we also need the menu routing, which is again, a step back to the general routing aspect. And let me bring in the routes because it will save us some time. So these are really, again, the standard menu stuff. We have a path to the menu, which is loaded in the beginning. We use the menu page and we define the children for uh, the different path. I only got one path, which will load our content page again, using the Angular 8 syntax. And in the beginning, we will just navigate to menu details zero. So level zero, we will then later see how to get to different levels of our content page. So here we go. Here is the menu list. Um, not really interesting. There are a lot of things missing. Uh, you also see the deprecated warning because I'm using Ionic 4, but that's not a huge issue. So if I click save now on everything, we should already see some changes. So first of all, we should notice that we got the menu list rendered in the side here and we see the content area connected to our content page. Now for the content area, um, let's do this right in the beginning because it's actually the easiest page. Um, we want to keep track of the level that was passed to this page. So it's like having a bit of connection between the elements of the site menu and your page. This is just one example, of course. So we have defined, uh, in the menu routing already that we're passing a variable called level to this page. And we can grab this one by first of all, injecting the activated route. And then in the ng on init, we're setting our level interesting way. Nope. That's not, uh, using this dot route snapshot paramap get. So a bit buried, but there we go. And then on the actual, uh, page component, we can also use the level to show what is going on. So go to the content page and insert. I was open from level or whatever you want to have in there. Also, we're going to need some buttons. So let's add the ion buttons slot start, and then we can change this to the ion menu button. This button will always toggle the menu if there is a menu. So if the split pane is active, like in this view, we won't see any button, but if I make this a bit smaller, we see that we know, oops, interesting, get the menu right here. We were open from level zero. That's fine. And our split pane and the general menu structure is working. Now we focus on the left area of this view, which is the menu list. We can see that by using the um, ion nav component in here and the root page, we are already displaying something completely different in here. So if I would comment this out and say, uh, ion, I don't know, let's just use ion content test. Then we would see that this content is rendered in the menu side. There we go. But of course we want to have this dynamic. We want to have our own navigation stack in there. So I don't know what is wrong with my, um, stuff in here. So now it's fine again. Now we're using the root page and it is the menu list. All right. So now we are working in the menu list and I think we can actually close most of the other things that we used up front and focus completely on our menu list because this will now get a bit more tricky. So first of all, the menu list also always starts with a level zero. That is the first level. The next page, uh, just like we used with the root page is set as well to the menu list page. Um, just because I had problems using this string directly in the view, I'm not sure why uh, it worked better like this. So now we come to the really funny part of implementing the multi-level menu. First of all, we're on level zero 
and we will can actually also use the ion back button so level zero i was open from level zero now we need to go deeper into our ion list and we want to basically push the menu list once again and tell the new menu list page which is like the second instance or the third instance of the menu list uh, that the level is now one two three and for this we can now use the ion nav push um, which is a nice component that we can basically wrap around the button or an ion item or anything like this so for example we could have an ion item button in here with an arrow and simply say go to the next level by now this wouldn't go to the next level we have to supply some more information here so we have to use a component and we actually see we also can use component props and the component will be the next page which is basically like pushing the menu list page onto the stack and we will also supply some component properties which are in our case the level and the level for the next page should be our current level plus one it's really that easy so let's save this and let's see this is not for this tutorial uh, we are here we can go to level one and we see we're now at menu level one and actually i've built this as an infinite loop and you see we can go to all the levels and we can use the back button to go up again so that is the starting point for our multi-level menu now if we also uh, want to open the content and change it based on the information where we're currently at we can use an ion menu toggle as well in the list uh, i will set auto height to false because um, normally it is set to true and then the toggle would only be displayed if the menu is not active active um, i will show you in a second but since we're using the split pane everything is visible and the button wouldn't be visible so that kind of doesn't make sense anyway uh, let's wrap an ion item in here and give it a little router link and now think again back to our app uh, routing or actually the menu routing if we want to open our content area with some content we have to use menu slash details slash whatever so let's make the router link to slash menu um, details and then using our level variable once again in here i will just copy some additional stuff like an icon and a label and that's basically it now we're able to open a different main content based on our menu so right now we're on level zero you see the url with zero if we now go to one and open the content we see i was open from level one and you can now go deep down and see we're on level five menu level five so of course in this example it doesn't really make a lot of sense but if you connect it with your data um, you're able on different levels of the menu to display different information you don't need any ng if additional animations i actually tried this like five hours today in the morning and finally came to this solution using the ion nav component in here as an additional navigation because now we got all the benefits of the ionic uh, push and pop uh, stuff so finally um, one more thing that i wanted to show you uh, which is also available in the ion nav or closely related to it so we can use ion nav pop push we used push in here and we can also use ion nav set root and actually that's what i wanted to show you as well so implement the ion nav set root like this and uh, in here follows again a button item whatever you want to do so let's use an ion item once again no additional uh, connection here just using the again menu list component as the root page and then the component properties setting the level to zero and only displaying it if the level is bigger than zero because uh, to display go to root on this page doesn't really make sense 
So now what is going on? Actually, we are starting here, but that's not really a huge problem. Uh, we can go to whatever level. And from here, we can immediately go back to root level. So we can do all of this. We can open the main, we can go back to root. So it's a really complete, powerful navigation in there. And you can basically plug in whatever you need to do in here, check the level or pass some IDs around. Really, the level is just an example for um, showing the difference between the different pages. Okay, finally, um, we used Ionic 4 syntax everywhere in here. So uh, make sure if you're using Ionic 5, you're using the split wane with a content ID instead and using ID main. And also um, the ionnav set root and the ionnav push are deprecated as well. And the fix for this is using the ionnav link and actually using it in two places. So let's go through all of them uh, one by one. Again, this is version five syntax. I will just uh, put a comment in here, version five. And this one would be version four. So for version five, we can use the INF link. Router direction is now important, either back, forward or root. Uh, and then again, the component and component properties. Basically, this one is like using uh, ion nav push. And in here we see if the router direction is root, it's like ion nav set root. And you can guess, you could also use this one with back, then it would be like the ion nav pop. So these are the differences between Ionic 4 based, uh, Ionic 4 and Ionic 5 based on the version where you're currently at. Um, but they don't really make any difference or whatsoever. So I hope you enjoyed this quick one about using the ion nav as a standalone component in a side menu to have a multi-level ion menu. Um, actually, that's a bit tricky topic. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more Ionic videos. And if you want to learn more about Ionic in general, make sure to check out the ionicacademy.com, which is my school to help you with learning everything Ionic, just like we did in this video. So. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great day. Take care and see you next time.